loud. And I'm fully committed to God. And long as I do what he tell me, I ain't going to never lose a battle. Y'all losing because y'all won't be sold out. Y'all won't be fully committed. And y'all going to keep on losing battles. Ain't no win for you. Ain't no win for the world. Ain't no win for you. He said, Father, it is finished. What I did, they can make it off of. But if they go against that, they won't make it. They won't make it. You can use any excuse you want to. You got everybody all over the world now using this. Don't just use the Bible. Everybody said, don't just use the Bible. The Bible's wrong. But the Bible's concrete. That you can go back and see everything that, that who they said Jesus ain't, what he did. Who else can you go back and look and see what they did? Fully. Committed. I don't care nobody feel. Sold out on the Bible. And I ain't going to never lose the battle. Matthew the 10th chapter. I ain't got to puff up nothing. I ain't got to make up nothing. All I got to do is stay with the word. And that's what people get frustrated about. That word. When you stay with that word, boy, Lord, it makes them mad. Uh, Matthew the 10th chapter beginning at the 33rd verse. But Acts tell you in Acts 5, 32, it said, and we are his witnesses. We are of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey him. He ain't giving the Holy Ghost to everybody. Everybody walk around and tell me, I got the Spirit of God. You might got Castle, but you ain't got the Holy Ghost. You might got a Spirit, but you ain't got God's Spirit. And that's the thing that I'm saying is so crazy about the world. We'll believe tabloid, we'll believe uh, 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 pictures on TV, or any made up thing. But when it comes to Jesus, we find some kind of way to excommunicate him as being who he is. But he ain't getting a hold of everybody. And if you ain't obeying him, you know one thing, it's it all. It's it all. I don't care when you go around faking speaking in tongues. If you ain't got, if you ain't obeying God's word, you ain't got it. Matthew the 10th chapter, beginning at the 33rd verse. It says, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a, a man at variance against his father and his daughter against his mother and the daughter of in-law against her mother-in-law and a man for us for us, so shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that finds his life shall lose it. And he that lose his life for my sake shall find it. Oh, Heavenly Father, in Jesus. God, I'm in a place, again, that I love being in. I'm in a place that I ain't got to make up nothing. I ain't got to create nothing. I ain't got to go research for nothing. You got it all right here for me. But if I was scripture to be here, it is only here to the never Lord. God, you said your word that you be lifted up from the earth, you'll draw all men. God, I heard you say your word that you didn't come to, to comfort nobody. You ain't come to set peace. You ain't come to, to, to get nobody no candy. You brother swore. That means there is some separation. And God, I said, you said you'd be lifted up from the earth, you'll draw all men. 
God, I come lift in that name, nothing above every name. In that name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way. Have your way in this place. And God, we forever give you the praise. We give you thank. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And they were hard to say amen, amen, amen. God is so awesome. And people have a tendency to question who God is. And what makes it so strong is show you how we question it. John the Baptist, the one that said, a lamb that take away the sins of the world. He said, he, 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 he seen it. God gave him revelation. He said, I ain't come, I can't even live, I can't even tie a shoe. But he said, he's coming. And I'm going to just read it to y'all to get y'all kind of started where I'm at. He said, and it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of the commandment, his disciples, 12 disciples, he departed thence and teach and to preach their city, in their city. He said, now when John had heard in prison the work of Christ, he said to his disciples and said unto him, art thou he that should come or do we look for another? Yeah. Now here is John don't yeah. have revelation. And because he in jail now, he questioned who Jesus is. You know how some of us when we first got saved, we thought he was all there. Until some things start coming, we start questioning. When Jesus told you you can't have this, when he told you you can't do this, you start questioning, you start finding excuses with me. Just like John. John said the sin, the, 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 the Savior that takes away the, the sin of the world. Is that he is, he is. And then he started questioning. Remember that Jesus talked to him. He said, and, 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 are you him or should we be looking for him? And then Jesus answered said, Jesus answered said unto him, go and show John to the disciples. Now y'all take y'all and tell them back and show John. Yeah. Just like he tell me, Paul Simmons, show the, show the world who I am. Yeah. Show the preacher who I am. Show, show them. Show them what I did for you. And then we don't want me to testify all the good things he did me. He ain't paying nobody else church out there that I know around here. Huh? I don't know no other preacher, all three songs, got degrees. I don't know none. Get mad, get mad. I mean, this is what he said. He said, go show John again those things which, which you do here. He said, now, now tell about all the stuff you heard and see. He said, now, don't just tell him that your, the conversation me and Ella had, but tell him what we seen, Ella. Y'all can y'all tell God what y'all see? No, y'all can't tell him because y'all still doubt him. We doubt him. This is what it's John, John has seen these things. Jesus said, baptize me, John. John said, I don't need to baptize. I can't baptize you. I need you to baptize me. He said, no, that the scripture be fulfilled. He said, everything I'm doing, I'm fulfilling the scripture. Me preaching to y'all, I'm fulfilling the scripture. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what he said. This is what John said. He said, and, and see, he said, the blind will see the sight. He said, tell him that, John. Yeah. Tell him the blind will see the sight. He said, and the lame walk. You know some of y'all were blind and lame. Some of y'all, y'all were blind to God, lame, couldn't walk, you were walking in your flat. Oh yeah, y'all sitting here yeah, like you don't know it. Well, y'all ain't figured out yet because y'all still down. Y'all don't know y'all can walk now. Y'all don't know y'all can see. Come on. This is what he said. He said, the blind will see their sight and the lame walk. He said, the lepers are clean. You know, some of y'all are real dirty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and the deaf healed. Some of y'all couldn't hear spirit. <laughs> he said, the dead rise up. Some of y'all were dead. Got up. Got up. I got up. When he got up, I got up. He talking to us. He let me know. He said, and the poor have a gospel preached unto them. So the gospel went everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he said, and blessed is he who shall ever shall not be offended in me. Oh, there it go. Oh, there it go. Come on, son. Oh, 
God said, I did not come to make peace with y'all. I came to bring a sword. But that's only was a parable. Because he also said, don't live by the sword. Don't live by it. So he was really talking about his word. And you know a lot of y'all reject that because it cuts. Yeah, yeah. He said, I ain't come to bring peace. I come to bring a difference. He said, I come to make a barrier between holy and unholy. I, I come to make a difference in walking in your flesh or being spirit. I came to make a difference. How many of y'all are different? He said, he said, do what I came to do. He said, I want to separate that word, tear. He said, that word, he said, listen, listen, he varied, mean being different. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, a lot of y'all in here confess to be saved, but where are you different? Let me, let me, let me talk to y'all. Holy and unholy. That's a difference. But now the church is trying to make holy anything. You know why they're trying to make it all the same job? Because they're in sin. So rather than set holy, they can't set holy. So they kind of smooth up the sister time. They downplay. They downplay what God said. Look what he said. It said light for darkness. Now they make darkness and light almost the same. You can't really tell the difference. But Jesus said, I ain't come to send people. And everybody want to comfort everybody. Everybody want to say, I ain't going to talk on shit. I ain't going to talk on hell. But what you going to say about this scripture right here? When it said, he did not come to bring peace. And y'all trying to bring peace. Where y'all get that from? How do you argue the scripture? My message today, Jesus came not to send peace, but a, but a sword. So in other words, he said, I want you to take my word and cause a war. Ready? I'm ready for walk. I came dressed for the cave. Every day I walk around, I'm in the spirit of God because I realize my Savior did not come to make you feel good. My Savior came not to give you care. He came for walk. Oh yeah, yeah, y'all don't want to say this. This how, let me, can I prove it, y'all? He said, but though we walk in the flesh, we do not, we do, do we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. He said, even though I walk in my flesh every day, I don't walk with it. That's how I know he wasn't talking about this. He wasn't talking about this. This cold. That's what he be doing to him. When y'all come here with all y'all in massive desire and attitude, you think he brutally or somebody? He said it. He said, but though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk in the after the flesh. He said, when well, the weapon of warfare is not come, he tell him, it's not this. It's not this. I don't blame y'all. I'll sit down too. I act like I'm standing up too. This is what he said. He's telling Isaiah 48, 22. He said, there is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. Okay, y'all can run around, have a nice car, nice career, nice job, everything. Not best wife, best husband, um, yeah, whatever you want. But there's no peace for the wicked. There's no peace for y'all. There's a wall going on here. And the spirit and the flesh are contrary one to another. That's a wall. That now is a war on the inside of y'all. That's why y'all fight the truth. That's why y'all fight living wrong. Right. Y'all fight it. He said, but the weapon of welfare is not common, but mighty and pulling down strongholds. Everything that come up and give me, I got to pull it down. Y'all don't want to put it down? This is what he said. He said, then Jesus said to Peter, he said, under him, put up again the sword in a, into his place. For all they that are taking the sword shall perish. With the sword. So you know you want to talk about this. He just used it like a parable. I'll cut your head off. And what he was saying with the word, I'll cut your head off. Y'all come to here and see, I'll cut your head off. And that's why you hate coming to him. He said, 
I put a, a difference, a variant between light and dark. I, I, I cut it off. Y'all trying to live in it. This is what he said. He's talking about because God wants us to know. I'm telling him who I am. This is what he said. See, a lot of y'all understand. God gave y'all the wheel. Right? Y'all know the wheel is. Mean you're free to do what you want. Right? But wheel is not your friend. Let me prove it to you. In Genesis 2 and 16, it says, The Lord commanded the man, saying, Every tree of the garden you may freely eat. He see, he told them they may freely eat. He said, But the tree of evil and good. He said, I don't want you to eat that. But free will made you think it was all right. Because he gave him a will to say you can eat of every tree. That's what free will do though. Will is not your friend. Your flesh is not your friend. God set a difference between them. He said, my flesh and my spirit, they war every day. I don't care how saved I am, I don't care how much I read. There's a war going on every day. That's why when I get out of the bed, I say I'm ready for war. Because I know the flesh going to try to do it and the spirit going to tell me this. Which one I'm going to listen to? Y'all sitting here playing. That's why so many people in the church going to hell. Because everybody now, they talking about Hosanna. They going back. The era church now is preparing for the crucifixion. So they talking about Hosanna. Now let me ask you this. If God still talking, what made them talk about Hosanna? What made the era church talk about Hosanna? It's something that they used to tradition to do. They don't need to hear about no Hosanna. They need to hear about he didn't send peace. He sent a different. And then we got these preachers in here. They got on. To show you ain't no different. Cap or sweater while they preach. It's what it said. He said in Psalm 101, 20 and 7. He said, for I am for peace, but when I speak, I'm for war. When I start, when you start speaking the truth, it's like you got a walk going on. Because the people that say they love God, they found out they don't love God. Truth makes a difference. It, 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 it brings a fairy. It's cut up. You find out that you ain't well, you tell them that you ain't right, you going to hell. They don't want to hear hell. You can't stop it though. This is what it said. How Solomon said it in Ecclesiastes 12 and 8. He said, vanity is vanity. He said, all the stuff y'all got is vanity. He said, say it to the preacher. The preacher told him. That's what I be telling him. All is vanity. Everything that y'all accumulate, that y'all think making y'all look like something, Solomon, the wisest man of all, says vanity. Y'all get the bigger degree y'all want, the nicer car, the nicer house, the best wife, the best children, it's vanity. He says all vanity. But what y'all should get is tight. Y'all ain't ready for it. That's why y'all get it, that's why y'all act like y'all can church. Oh y'all ain't like y'all don't like y'all don't like y'all don't lost stuff. This is how God say he's talking about that sword. Oh, I'm not dead. Tear it down. This. That's a sword. You don't say y'all come in here and then it starts cutting on you. And, and you know God, you know something you know what God's so good about? When he took Eve out, he got her, got her out of and got Eve out. They even had to stitch her. He cut him. And brought out Eve, and they even leave no scar. He knew no knife. He spoke it to his sister. This is what he said. He said, "Vanity of vanity," said the preacher. All is vanity. And show you ain't no different. What preacher gonna advertise Greek organization? Why he preached. You exalted something else. You bringing something else into the, to the knowledge of, of the church. It ain't God. See, you got to listen to it. This is how God said it. Now, y'all got to listen. He said, Let us labor that for the enter into the rest. Let's enter all after the same example of unbelief. Just like, just like, just like John, just like downtown. We sit right there, they walk with God and still doubt it. And we sit right in him. Even though y'all, y'all know who I am, the way y'all try to unjustify me as being who I am, you act like you don't believe what I say. Come on, son. 
But I'm ready for battle. Amen. This is what he said. He to show you that, that, that what he was talking about. He said the word of God is quick and powerful and sharp and then two as well. That lets you know he was talking about that word. He said that word is sharper and powerful. They need the two as well. Just think about how you feeling right now. He cutting you down. Y'all ain't got that like y'all like he ain't cutting y'all. He cutting y'all. But y'all ain't ready for battle. Y'all bleeding, don't even know. Because y'all ain't trying to change. This is what he said. He said the word of God is quicker and powerful and sharper than two edged sword. He said, Peter, even the divine of the son of the soul and spirit. Now y'all know that's some cut. Y'all know they ain't getting no natural knife. Y'all right. ain't no natural sword. He talking the spirit. And that's why he said the, the spirit and the flesh, they war against you. They, God sitting there cutting that knife. Oh, I don't want that piece of meat. Oh, no, that bad right there. That, oh, that, oh, that, oh, that, 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 you know, God tell you that? He said, he cuts off, he, he purged. It's cut. He wasn't talking about no sword. He's talking about, I'm purging you with that word. I'm purging. Y'all don't want to be purged. Y'all don't want to be ready for battle. Y'all want to fight God. Y'all in here want to fight God. All y'all that ain't doing what God said, y'all are fighting against God. He said, you'll find yourself fighting God. Amen. <laughs> Why everybody so upset with the church? This is how he talk. Because God already know where y'all are. This is what he said. He said, for the word of God is quick, comes so quick, and power and sharper than any to his word. He said, pierce even the vine, the son of the soul of spirit, and the journey of the marrow. He said, and there's a discernment or your thought pattern right now. He's telling me I'm through the conduit. They don't want to receive what you say in the cross. Just tell them what I say. And whether they receive it or not, it's okay. Because the same way when Miriam was talking against Moses, I heard. And if I know the thoughts and the tent, I'm hearing what y'all thinking right now. I'm hearing what y'all saying right now. I ain't paying pops no attention. I don't, want, I don't want to hear that. I want to do what I want to do. Go with your bad self. God ain't mad, but I'm ready for walk. This is what he said. He's talking about because God wants to know. This is what he said. He said, there's a design of the thought and the tense of your heart. He said, I already know it's in your heart. And he ain't talking about this. He's talking about this. Because your mindset. All y'all want to reject God's word. I don't care what apostle says. I don't care what he says. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to go where I want to go. I'm going to be who I want to be. I ain't got no problem with that. But one day you got that answer. You don't get, you don't get like everything about God. See, John, John seen the things about God. John knew the things about God. But because he wanted to do him, and because he was in prison, and God wasn't coming to get him, he had a problem. Amen. And because God don't move fast enough for y'all, y'all try to do it y'all way. I ain't mad. I ain't mad with you. This is what he said. He's telling this. He said, there is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. He come back and said in, in John 3 and 3, y'all heard, he said, Jesus answered and said unto him, very, very, I say unto you, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of separation. A very, he said, except you be born again, you won't make it to hell. I don't care what the preacher said at your funeral. You won't make it in. And all y'all got your own mindset. You still want to be fleshy. You know why you really want to be fleshy, cat? Because you understand it. You don't understand the things of the spirit. He said a natural man understands not the things of the spirit. Y'all don't understand the things of the spirit. You're too much in your flesh. That's why when I talk to you, you don't understand it. This is what he said. He come back and talk about the word. He talk about this, this, that sharpening of two and four. He said, Matthew 4 and 4, he said, but he answered and said unto Nicodemus, look Nicodemus, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but everywhere that proceeded out the mouth of God. And how, what y'all living by? What y'all living by? That's what I was saying too. I said, I wrote down of him. One thing I wrote down when I was in the bathroom, Lord was talking to him. He said, read the Bible for yourself. Go look at the scripture for yourself and ask yourself why these preachers ain't telling what Apostle Simon tell. But everything I'm telling you come out the out the, out the, out the swole. So let me ask y'all this. If it come out the Bible, why y'all ain't doing it? Hold on. 
But I'm going to cut you, though. I bet you that. I bet I'm going to cut you. I bet you that. You ain't getting away from me cutting you. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Every time I God get me in the pulpit, every time I get to speak somewhere, I'm trying to tell people, you're living wrong. Y'all ain't right. Y'all don't love God. Everybody get bothered. They don't want to make excuses. This is what it said. Show you that it's a different. He said, 1 Peter 5 and 5, he said, for God resists the proud. But give grace to the humble. That's so that means everybody ain't got grace. Oh, she is a barrier. She, he, everything in his scripture is, is separated. There's a difference. Y'all got to set that up. Will is not your friend. He's not, he not your friend. This is what he said. He said, For well, though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapon of our warfare are not common but mighty. Through God and pulling down stronghold. He said, casting down imagination is up imagination. How y'all casting down imagination when y'all fall out there looking at the sister or brother? See, that had a word cut you. Because when you don't, when you don't, when you keep your same thought pattern about each other, he said, now nah, come. He said the word come. Because he told you in the word. This is what he said. He said, he said, casting down imagination in every high thing. Anything that makes you look at your brother do. He said, cast it down. He said, exalt yourself against the knowledge of God. Everything that comes against God's word, and y'all sit in question. You know you're already lost. You already don't know God's word. But when God's word tell you what it should do, y'all be saying, see, that's what I'm talking about, uh, Trey. See, what I possibly said, see. You know, every time you think about his key word, he ain't never got nothing good to say. Well, let me tell you about that, I'll trade. He got a lot of things good, good to say about it. Because you dying in sin. And he always tell you about sin. He's trying to keep y'all ahead. So what's the thing you want to hear beside that? Jesus said it was finished. That means, God, I, I finished what you have told me to do. I can plead it. They still want to do what you told me to do. But I said, Dad, it's finished. They ain't got no excuse. Then what he said, he said, he said, cast down imagination and every hot thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into the captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every thought, every bad thought, I'm bringing it to the obedience of Christ. That's what I'm saying. You got to be ready to war against your flesh. I ain't warring against the world. I'm warring against myself. I'm warring against myself because myself will take me somewhere I don't want to be. That's why I said, this road said, I'm ready for war. I mean, I'm ready to war against my flesh because I know my flesh is going to come after what I want. And they're going to never want me to please God. That's why he tell you, you got to renew the mind daily. You got to get that mind condition. We don't want to get the mind condition. Well, you know, this is what he said. He said, very mean, bringing with different, holy with unholy, light with dark, righteous with right, unrighteous. He said, it's a difference. Y'all look at the difference. He come back and said, right or wrong. Y'all know it's a difference. He tell you to do. He ain't tell you to do wrong. He tell you to do right. He ain't tell you to do unright. He tell you to do right. He ain't tell you to be unholy. He tell you to be holy. He tell you, I'm telling you, and it's a variable. You're not gonna make it in unless you do it. He come back and said, Look, I'm gonna give you some natural stuff. I know y'all, y'all, y'all ain't always spirit, good and bad. When I show you some good, y'all know what I'm talking about. When I show you some bad. Is they different? Yeah. What about purity and ugly? Yes, Lord. See, I got to bring something natural to y'all. Because y'all don't understand the spiritual thing. Y'all y'all go at it day and night. Which one you like? <laughs> Heaven and hell. A man and a woman. You got to put a difference. Everybody trying to be gay. It's a difference. He put a variable between that. He gave you some tools that you ain't got. Not just your look, not just your makeup, not just your breath. He gave you a difference. Even the way you walk is different. You see them guys trying to walk like a man? They struggle. They trying to figure out how to walk like a man. Then you get them old sisters. They are shy. <laughs> Good fucking. Because you're going against the grain. I don't care about y'all getting mad at him. Letting your little flesh ride up. 
If you want to be a daggone sister, be a daggone sister. What I'm trying to tell you is what God said. It's a difference between a man and a woman. He ain't come to bring peace. I'm ready for war. I want to swell up and mad because I'm talking about sis. When I talk about everything else, you ain't get mad. He said, spirit and faith. He said, love and hate. You know who you hate and you know who you love. Like I know a lot of y'all don't care about me because I get in your business. I stake your business and throw it down. I don't care about your business. If it's against God, it's, it's hey, we, we got problems. I don't care how y'all feel about me, but when you die, you're going to hear my voice. When you die, you're going to hear. Jesus came not to send peace, but a sword. Got all these preachers crying. Folks to be crying loud. Folks be telling people they transgress and how the Jacob they sin. And here they are trying to bring peace. But look, we ain't got to be harsh. We ain't got to talk like that. We ain't got to condemn. We ain't got to convict nobody. I'm not looking at sin as being bad for me. What well, God said, the way to sin and death is bad. This is what it said. He's talking about. He said, sweet for Bill. Now, do what I like. Do what I like. Positive for negative. You can't crank a car with both of them. You got to have both of them crank a car. But y'all know the one I really like. Wilson is smart. See, Wilson come on the boat. All y'all smart jokers, all y'all, all y'all smart jokers, y'all ain't got nothing but a bag of tricks. Wilson come from a boat, and everybody ain't got it. See, a diamond will be small because he'll think he can think out the situation. What God said, I'm trying to tell us something. Let me ask you this. Have you committed your life to God, both present and future? Come on, son. Hey, I'm over here. Church, church, I'm over here. Are y'all ready? Have you committed your life to God, present and future? That means right now or when you die? That's what I want to know. Everybody want to make God all nice and all this. He said, I came to bring a separation. Between who love me and who don't. And y'all show me y'all love me by y'all body language. Amen. Wanna look all down, look all now look up him. Look upon me. Sin and go, I have none. But such as I have, I give to y'all. Such as I have, I give to y'all. Wanna be in the church where the word being preached at, it ain't changing. This is what he said. Talk to him, God. Talk to him. Talk to him. This is what he said in 1 Kings 18 and 21. He said, Elijah came unto all the people. Pastor came to all the cornerstones and said, How long? Hold to you between two opinions. How long y'all gonna be saying y'all love God and ain't serving like that? How long? How long y'all gonna keep doing the smoking, the whole money, the drinking, and all that stuff, the lying? How long? How long y'all gonna fall to be spiritual and stay in flesh? How long? That's why people are like me. I don't come to play. I come to tell just what God told me. How long? And I'm ready. I know it's going to be a war when you stay right with God. <coughs> who going who gonna to like you? He said, Elijah came to all the people. I came to everybody that comes on saying, how long hawk you between two of them? He said, if the Lord be God, follow him. That's the separation. That's the burden. If Baal be him, follow him. I just want to ask y'all. Be honest with yourself. Who you walking off with? Who you, who you spending all your time with? Who, who, you, who you know what God wants? Who you, who you, who you, who you make it happen? Huh? And everybody around you don't like God, so you don't talk about God around them. And when you when you when you go on the other side of the fence, you know what your flesh do? Your flesh make you hate the church. You ain't got no reason to hate the church. You just found. If you and dogs don't shine the light on how you gonna feel. But let me just talk about me. When we were coming up in, in, in our house and you turn the light on about a good 30 minutes an hour, 
the whole kitchen full of roots. I don't know where they come from. They were with no with that bro. The whole house. Rushes everywhere. I ain't never seen so many rushes. Where they go in the daylight? They like darkness. That's the way y'all come out. You can't find you in the house. You can't find you in the church when God preaches. Because you like darkness. You go hide. Y'all hiding right now. Y'all hiding. You've been hiding in him. And that was God said, every time when our house, when we're trying to light it off, Boy, you go get, get, get a good 30, 20, 30 minutes, what, about, about 30 minutes, bro? That whole house, the rug flow, everything is infested with rug. Turn the light on, they say, hey, do, 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 do. get out of here. When I preach that, what y'all be saying, get out of here. But the only thing about it, you can't get your flesh to move. It got to come subject to God. He said, the word of God is, is quicker. And powerful and sharp than any two edged sword. Yeah. Pierce and even a son of the body, a son of the soul and the spirit, and the junk and matter. And it's a junk of the thought. That's why when I preach, that's why people don't want me preaching. Because I hear from God. And it cuts. And the church wants me to say something good. This ain't good. Why the church want something else? Why the church want something else? And you know what he said? I ain't come to make no friend. I come to make a separation. They mad with me because I'm making a separation. Have you, have you committed your life to God, both present and future? Come on. Come on, I told y'all wins. Y'all remember wins? Huh? What, 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 what y'all future look like? Since y'all didn't do no way to win. How's your future look now? Yes, sir. Ready for all this. What you want me to say, girl? Y'all going to hell. Because y'all trying to eat no blood with me. This is what he said. This is what Proverbs said. Proverbs 10, 31 and 32. It said, A mouth of the just bring the forth wisdom. And while the flesh can't understand what I'm talking about, when I'm talking, they can't understand. I'm bringing forth wisdom. This is what it said, though. He said, But the fall of tongue shall be cut off. <coughs> he said, That that fall of tongue y'all got. That you always got something to say. You always, you don't want to hear will. You just rave in your mouth. Oh, say, I'm going to cut it out. Look what he said. He come back and said, the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable. But the mouth of the wicked speaking forwardness. Forceful. They just want to go forward. That's all they want to do. But the will is just smooth off the way. This is what the Spirit is saying to the church. Come on, son. He said, he said, they just like that, Terry. They don't understand how, how I am. This is what he said. He's telling them because God is trying to get us to a place. But we try to ignore him. God said, you can't ignore him. Look what he said in Matthew 12 and 37. He said, for by thy word, thou shalt be justified. And by thy word, that should be condemned. He said, a separation. Yeah. By your word. Yeah. One time y'all say I love me, next time you don't. Know. One time you turn to the word said, the next time you don't. Know. You repent the day before church out, you back doing something else. He said, he said, but by your word. He said, by all y'all word, I'm going y'all gonna be either justified or you're gonna deal. And now everybody trying to clear like it's my word. I know. By your word. How you live, how you walk, how you talk, you better be ready for battle too, come. I don't know how you're gonna fight fire. Come on. But your present and your future is gonna be with God. Whether you serve him now or later. One way he's gonna get to show you who he is. And he ain't making no excuses for y'all talking about, I didn't need him like that, God. I was young. No, 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 no. no. Know how I got to kill that? Because he was 12 when he started. 
You know what I'm talking about? He come in and said about the vibe. He said about, see, the pastors and the preachers got the church divided because Jesus came not to send peace, but a sword. He said, it's war, Terry, it's war. So he come back in 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. He said, now look, I beseech you, brother. I beg you. He said, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, by Jesus Christ. He said, that you all speak the same thing. But why are you preaching what I'm preaching? Why everybody, why, why everybody got a lot of pop mess and God got me making sure that y'all stay right with him, that y'all make it in. But y'all don't want to stay right with God because y'all want to be in one of the other churches. Come on. Come on. That promising y'all a lie. Why y'all think people leave him? They want some lie to pop. I'm fresh out of it. I ain't got nothing but B-I-B-L-E. Oh. I ain't got nothing but the Bible. I ain't got nothing but the Bible. This is what he said. This is what he said. He said, he said now I beseech you, brother. Paul told the rich church. He said, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and there be no division among you. Okay? Let's stop right there. Come on, stop. Is there any no division among us? Because he said, the, 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 the the one that made the variance said that there should be no division. I don't care what's in your heart. I don't care you feel about it. You heard that there should not be no division. And we just church just stank with all kinds of division. From the poor pit all the way to the dope. And they don't want to tell you the truth because if they tell you the truth, it's going to reflect back on them. You know, when you look in the mirror, you don't see me. Y'all let me say it again. When you look in the mirror, you don't see. I don't see nobody but Ted. I ain't coming on two sides of me. When I look in the word of God, I see me. So what do the word of God when I'm preaching tell you about you? Because you should be looking at nobody but you. You should have no time to be spending time watching Ellen Silver or trying to watch her stand with Boo. Get your review, get your review mirror from men of stand. Stop trying to see people, you're trying to see how they're looking. And govern yourself to look at yourself. When I when I look in the word, I look at Terry. I ain't standing at y'all man. I read that thing. He came not to bring peace, but a soul. He came to make a variance. He came to make a difference. He came to make sure that light don't look like dark. And he made sure that I didn't look like a, a woman. Made sure. This is what he said. He said, now I will see you, brother, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That you all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind. You know, hear the same mind and the same judge. And you know what I know the problem is? See, we listen to people that don't want to be saved. So people that don't want to be saved, they get on the internet and look for stuff. And guess who they bring it to? They bring it to weak people that dumb and stupid to listen to them. They ain't gonna bring that to me. They find you come out like we can. You ain't weak. You right. I can't use you. You right. No, no trade. That's the apostle talking about. Yeah, come on, man. Look, look. You got to search this thing out for yourself. There you go. Now. God already know you're going to do some things. <laughs> but he'll tell you at the end. All right. How many of anybody talk to y'all like that? Oh. They, they tell you it's another God. They tell you it's other God. They tell you there's other ways to get to heaven. That's what everybody said. They said so many ways to get to heaven. But then not all these gods and all this stuff ain't got their Bible though. They still use God's Bible. That's what I understand about it. All these religions, they still use stuff out the Bible to validate what they say. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. He said, but look what I like to him. He said that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind 
and the same jug. He said, no matter what they said to you, they still got to come with the same mind and the same jug. And I told them to renew the mind daily. I told them to get the mind right. Now listen to what God said. I'll show you how smooth he is. He said, who shall separate you from the love of Christ? Who? Who shall separate you? You know what? Can't nobody separate you from the love of God. Because he love is, is unconditional. He can't do it. You do it. He just asked you the question. He said, shall tribulation, shall the stuff you go through, should that make you have a variance between God? Should that make a difference because you're going through stuff? He, he said, shall the stress, you're going through your problem, what you call Amen. <clears throat> now, I'm going to just ask this. I just, this just came in my spirit. How many of y'all ready for war against the world? That when you go to job, you ain't kissing cousin with nobody. Yes, sir. How many of y'all look in the mirror and see yourself and ask that question? That's who that's 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 who wants. See y'all were telling yourself, I got a war going on, Terry. I, I, I God said, is it, is it God hiding from the enemy? Even if the enemy be. A lot of y'all, y'all own him. Y'all ain't telling yourself. God came not. To bring peace. Yes, yes. But it's what it was. He said, shall persecution, shall when you tell somebody about God and your family and all that, and they start going off on you, and make you separate from God? Yeah. You know, how are we going to tell our family the truth? We won't tell them the truth. We know the truth, we won't tell them the truth. We won't even tell ourselves. He said, should family, should neighbor, should pearl, should sword, see now all this stuff, should, should, it, should it make you go against God? This is what he said. He said, in Matthew 10, 33, he said, Well, whosoever shall deny me before man, when you're ashamed of the gospel, mm -hmm. you deny him before oh, man. Yeah. When you get around people that you say you love and you know they ain't saved, and you fold up and you won't tell them about God. He said, What you ashamed of? Right. This is what he said. He said, Him will I also deny. Before my father was in hell. He said, if you deny me before man and won't tell man, I'm going to deny you too. He said it again. That's a separation. Because y'all say in church, y'all love him. Y'all say in church, y'all raise your hand as you. Y'all tell all them lies. But when y'all get around your family member, this is what it said. He said, it come back to the He said, think not that I come to send peace on earth. He said, think not. Everybody act like I'm a peacemaker. Go to the beatitude you want to find out who peace for. This is what he said. He said, he said, I came not to sit peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at bearing against his father and his daughter. Against his mother. Against his daughter-in-law. Against her mother-in-law. He said, I come to do this. He said, look what Luke said. Look at Luke said. Luke 12 and 3 said, the father shall be divided against his son, and the son against the father, the mother against her daughter, and the daughter against her mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. He said, I'm telling y'all, I'm bringing a separation. I'm making a difference. You ain't going to be kissing cousins how much you love me, and you won't stand up for me. He ain't come to bring peace. I know some of y'all said, man, I ain't Talk to my mama like that. I ain't, I ain't gonna talk. Well, that's all right. This is what Amos 9 and 10 said. He said, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Jesus. Because you got some people still, preachers say they still sin. How you a sinner? How you still a sinner if Christ don't die? Y'all need to leave them doctors and read them alone. Get the Holy Ghost. Going to get all of the green, they ain't bad, ain't born again. This is what he said. He said, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. He said, The evil. And then Jesus came to tell you, He said, Jesus said unto him, I am the way. Yes, sir. And he ain't trying to tell y'all, I'm going to the right and all y'all to the left. I'm going to the right. Y'all going straight ahead. He ain't talking about the straight and narrow now. He said he's the way. So what he's telling you, you got to follow the six and six books of the Bible. 
You can't go your way. You can't bag up and think you're all right. You can't look safe and think you're all right. Ain't none of that work. I don't care how fine you. You'll go to hell. You don't care about that. Michael Jackson said, now nah, right now. <laughs> Whitney Houston singing the best song she can sing. And some of y'all going to gather with her. In here getting the truth and still going to live how you want to live. So read the Bible for yourself. All this that I'm saying to he said, you can get the best job, best house, baby. He said, vanity of vanity, said the preacher. Apostle said, all is vanity. He said, ain't nothing no good for you. This is what he said. He talked to him because he wanted to He said, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. And every time y'all go to these children, y'all know the people ain't there, man. And the preacher lie. Because they're trying to make peace with the people that are going to pay them for doing the film. I do it for free. Amen. But I ain't breaking no peace. I'm raising the dead. I'm raising, I'm raising all y'all dead jokers in the church. I'm raising all y'all up. Because y'all know the church full of dead people this morning. They don't know God. They don't know God. When a preacher can pay with the people, y'all know they don't know the Bible. Amen. Look, look. You don't want to come in here. I've been broken by the lie. God trying to tell you. This is what he said. He come in St. John 15 and 2. He said, every branch in me that bear, bear not fruit, he take it away. Now, what that fruit stand up there, I thought of green giant. I thought I caught myself before I said green giant. That's what it used to be. What about fabric? Jolly green giant. But when you go in the food store, you look for good food. Now I want y'all to listen to what God said to y'all. Every branch of me that bears not fruit is taken away. What you bear? Mm. He's telling us there's a difference. Yes, sir. If you ain't bearing the fruit that God asked for, and I ain't just talking about the fruits of the Spirit, I'm talking about the fruits of righteousness. Huh? Y'all try to do the fruit and all that stuff. This is what he said. He said, if every branch that bear fruit, he purged it, that it bring for more fruit. Then God said, I sanctified y'all. Let me tell y'all what sanctified. Show y'all what y'all ain't sanctified. He said, set apart. Yes, now, who sanctified? Because I'm showing you where God said it's a separation. It, 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 you can't tell me you go to church don't make you sanctified. You going to church don't make you born again. Going and like your preacher in the choir don't make you born again. We got a bunch of jokes in him getting the truth and going to hell in him with the truth. It's a decision you got to make. And y'all ain't made it. Y'all just like the color of the church. He said sanctification. He said, he said sanctified. He said set apart. In the clad home. Now, first of all, who sanctified and who declared holy? Don't lie, because all life is going to hell. What I'm trying to tell y'all, God trying to tell y'all today, you better get yourself right. I told them today, my mind made up. I gotta be, I got I, if I want sold out, I got to be sold out. If I ain't, if I want all in, I tell you what, after the day, I gotta be. Then I got to be full of humility. I never lost a battle. Bring you on the flesh over here and try to fight. See how I cut you. I'm going to cut you on that lunch meat. Come on, son. God ain't playing no more. God tired y'all coming to him and playing in his shirt when he's trying to get people to know who he is. He said, sanctify. He said, set apart and declare holy. Then he said, consecrate. Amen. Like some consecrated urn juice. Been consecrated. Yeah. Ooh, got so much sugar in the door. I love it. My wife cut me off. Oh, ah, consecrated. Yeah. Ah, why well, I love her. I ain't had none so long. <laughs> Jeez. That was coming to live right though. Yeah, yeah give us some stuff you want. He said, purify. Oh, yeah. Now I know y'all lost all four of them. You ain't consecrated. You ain't declared holy. You ain't consecrated. You ain't purified. 
Somebody's going to repent today. I ain't going to make y'all repent, though. But, but I'll, I'll be repenting. I'll be trying to get myself right because there's a war going on. It is. <coughs> they say, in Philippians 1 and 17, he said, But the other of love, knowing that I am set forth the defense of the gospel. How many of y'all want to fit together? All right, all right. All right. How you gonna fit when you don't do it? Oh, Lord. You know, that what I that what I know about God. You know, y'all ain't got everything figured out. He said, the day that you eat the tree, you will surely die. <clears throat> For sure. He said, and then he said, that you would die. So he put them out the gun. Everybody probably got a plot of gun because they they ate on the tree. They ain't got a plot of gun. The tree of life was in the gun. And they got put out because God knew if they ate on the tree of life, they would make him a liar that they live there. So God put a surfing at the tree of life that turned all the way around. And everywhere he would turn, he was cut. And they make sure that nobody get in. Right. Because he knew if man would have ate, he knew that they would live forever. Yeah. And see, the same way he knew it, y'all. Yeah. Y'all don't eat the tree of life. Yeah. He telling y'all, this is where your life is. Yeah. Just because you're living don't mean nothing. This is what he said. He talked about it. When Jesus said, Father, in Matthew 25 and 50 and 51, he said, Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, Yield up the door. He gave up the door. He said, and the hole, the veil will rip from prime, from the top to the bottom. When, when Jesus gave up the door, the veil, where you had to go in by a priest, we no longer need a priest. We no longer Y'all don't even need me to go before God. You need to have your life right that you can go before God. You don't, you don't need to depend on me. You need to make sure your life right because God don't give us access. Us that say now some of y'all, y'all gonna get y'all put out with silly. It ain't went nowhere. It ain't no good. When you ain't right with God, your prayers no good, y'all. I'm telling y'all, all around the world is full of, with, with preachers and people and people paying their money. But their life ain't money. Right. But I try to tell y'all something. This ain't come back. Show you silly different. In Genesis 1, 3 and 5, he said, God said, let there be light. Do you hear that? Y'all yeah. know the, the earth was full of dog. But he said, I'm going to I'm going to show you that I came on the earth. He said, and there was light. <coughs> and God saw that the light, that was good. Not evil. Not bad. And God divided the light from the dog. He made a difference. See, like, like me and Ella. See, Ella is dark. I'm light. In the way we're gonna do this to us. <laughs> that spirit might get on me. He is dumb. I am not. Come on now. How do y'all justify y'all say? Because he tell you that he said, I made a do. He said that the good he said God divided the light from the dog. And God called the light day and the dog the night. So he telling him, I started in the beginning. Making a difference. He made out and he made you later. They were different. Ain't good. But he ain't gonna make peace though. <coughs> this is what he said. He's trying to tell us something. And that's why I said the preachers in their mindset, they trying to get out the money. They're not trying to get people saved no more. That's why I said ready for war. He come back to Psalm 94 and 16. He said, Who will rise up against the evil doer? Who will go against these people? Who will stand in my church and preach my truth? He said, Who will do? I said, Send me, Lord. I'll go. He said, I'll tell him. He said, Who shall stand up against the work of the nigga? Who? He said, I want, I want somebody to stand up and preach a different, not preach for filthy loose. He tells us in the word, Do not preach for money. He tells us that, but they preach for money. And if you look at the people that go to church in the morning, when they leave out, just like some of y'all, you ain't going out saved. You're going out just like you came in here with your own mind. And this is what he said. 
He talked about the priest. He tried to tell y'all. That's why I said, read the Bible for yourself. He said, he said, Jude 1 and 3 said, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you the come of salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you. He said, I'm trying to warn y'all ahead. He said, exalt you that you should honor the contempt for the faith huh, which once delivered unto you. Saint, unto the saint. Now let me ask y'all this. When y'all want to team? I ain't trying to preach here, continue. Yeah. I guess the church, I guess the church, uh, I guess they must have left church. But God wants us to continue. Look at him come back and say, come back in Matthew uh, 12 and, 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 and 40, 46. He said, while he yet talked to the people, Behold, this ain't said. I don't even get mad with it, but I ain't like this. I'm not the pen. I'm not. I don't have penmanship. I'm just a deliverer. He said, while he yet talked to the people, to Jesus, now he said, behold, his mother and his brother stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, he said, Look, thy mother and thy brother stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered that Jesus and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother? And who is my brother? He said, He stretched over his hand. I can't do it in him. He said, He stretched over his hand to the disciple and said, Behold, my mother, my brother, is whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same as my brother, my sister, and my mother. So if you ain't doing the will of God, I can't consider you as my brother or my sister or my mom. He said, there is a separation. Yeah. And people get mad. He ought not to be telling about it. It's in the Bible. That's why I said, sometimes y'all read for yourself. Stop trying to dodge. Come on. Man, that's what I'm talking about. This ain't God said this. I know it. Let me go over here with this. This ain't God put this. 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. It says, Be separated from unbelief. Because I made a difference. I'm making a difference. And now we'll say, Man, I ain't separated from my family. I ain't separated from my own fear. I ain't separated. Then you ain't saved. He didn't say you can't talk to him. He didn't say you can't help him. That ain't what he said. Don't get it twisted. And he ain't telling you to deliver to hate your mama, brothers, and sisters. That ain't what he said. He said they cannot get in your way or coming for me. Well, y'all tell me how y'all feel about y'all children. They would call somebody a dad. And you were taken care of. How y'all feel? Huh? This is what he said. This must be the cold. This must be the cold time. Man. I got quarantine. Man. I got quarantine, brother. I don't know why I got quarantine. Man. Maybe I need quarantine or something, y'all. This is what he said. Look, come on, y'all. Look what he said. He said, "Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers." Now that's a difference. He said that. Now he said, "Unbelievers, how you make the difference?" Do you make the difference because that's your mama, your dad, your brother, sister, or that's your best friend in school? How, how do you decide that? But then you hate that you don't want to be in the church. Vanity of vanity, said the preacher. All of vanity. Everything y'all want to accumulate in your life is vanity of God. Yeah. Your children, you, house, car, everything is vanity when you ain't got God for it. It's vanity, said the preacher. All is vanity. This is what he said. He said, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelief. He said, Don't yoke up with them. Because you know when a yoke got put, they, they got the necks in the thing, the yoke. And you, what, what it look like putting an elephant and, and a horse together? Somebody will get broke. So if you in sin bad, he said, for what fellowship have righteous with unrighteous? Y'all, come on, look up here. What fellowship that God wants you to have with unrighteous, you righteous? Don't put it on me. 
So when y'all have fellowship and unrighteous and you continue to have fellowship and unrighteous, you tell the God, I do what I want to do. I don't care who it is. Look what it says. He coming. He said, what communion have light with God? Y'all know when light gets turned on, dark is gone. Now this ain't talk about natural light now. They're talking about you supposed to be the light of the world. Like Motel said. Let me finish. He said, and what comes to have Christ with God? What, 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 what relationship Christ got with them? That's what I should have put down there too. Um, the different things, God and the devil. You know, the two different things. Because you got one of them. Ain't no purpose of them. He said, and what come called have Christ with the lie? He said, and what part have he that believed with the evil dead when somebody don't believe? And then talking to you little girl. Yeah. Jesus came not to send peace mm-hmm. on the earth, but a sword. Yeah. He came to make a separation. He came to make people know Terry is saved really. He's different. Yeah. If, if everybody still looks at you at the same, and you ain't, you, you know, when they see you, they, they still call it, hey, terrible teeth. Hey, ice. What's up, Thumper? Oh, man, I don't know the other. Man, you still got the red 300. Where y'all at? I got a homeboy like that. That was seen an old man. That went back to the 300. That went back to the terrible teeth. This is what he said. He said, What come God has Christ with the lie? And what part has he that believed with the infidel? And what agreement has the temple of God with I? Then God told me, He said, For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore? Wherefore? He said, Come out from among them. And one scripture he said, Y'all will come to him. This one he said, Come out from among them. Come out from among that stuff that's going to get you dirty. But so one day my dad always told me, my dad always used to tell him, you lay down with, with, with a dog, you what he said, boy, get up and flee. That's what you used to tell him. I'm just making her remember. Mo you tell her that. You, you lay down with, with a dog, get up and flee. He said, Well, fuck, come out from among you and be separate. He said, Don't separate from me. Separate from you. Yeah. Y'all trying to separate from the church. But they ain't trying to separate from them. This is what he said. He said, say it the Lord. Now he said, he said, touch not the unclean thing. He said, don't touch the unclean thing. I'm going to tell y'all about me. Let me just tell y'all about me. I'm ready for all. This is my mindset. I'm sold out. Huh? I'm going to be fully committed to everything God said. And I ain't going to lose about it. All y'all in here gambling, all y'all in here playing, when you leave church, you somebody else. The word will follow you though. Because y'all know the scripture said, goodness and mercy shall follow you. So this word is still, I don't care where they go. They can go to Cuba. They're going to hear Apostle Silver say, you're going to hell for that. You can get gas you want to get. It will go all the way across the country. See, they don't want to tell everything about them transgenders and all them. They got a, a 19-year-old transgender to kill a 12-year-old. But they don't put that on the news. He said, that was what he said. He said, well, fuck, come out among them. I hear, I hear, I hear no spirit. Well, that's the spirit of war. Well, well, well. He said, well, fuck, come out from among them. And be separated, said the Lord. He said, and tell not the unclean thing. And I will see you. He said, but if you tell the unclean thing, I ain't gonna see you. So you better get Ella or Jappa or Mac or a Mitchell to do your funeral. But I ain't lying for you. You come here and 
and he roll crawled out. Don't get me talking. He picked the best flower. Child, he got a weed. And I'm a bunch of weed back there. There ain't no weed back there. This is what he said. He said, I will receive you and will be the father unto you. And you shall be my son. And the daughter said to all mine. He said, if, if you just do what I'm telling you, you, you can be so special to me. God, you're all right. I don't care what they say about it. This is how God said it. I love the way God put this. He come back to Mark. See, Mark, all three will tell him this. But Mark tell him a little bit new. And Mark 3 and 31, he said, then came, then his brother and his mother, standing without uh, sin unto him, calling him. And the multitude said about, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brother without seeking for thee. Now you see, all three of them telling a different. So you know all three of them had to see the same thing. They just got a little tweak on them, like a little different. But this is how they, this is how they put it. But all of them said the same thing. He said, and he answered and said, said he answered them saying, Who is my mother or my brother? And he looked around about on them, which set about him, and said, Behold my mother and my brother, for whosoever shall do the will of God, the same as my brother, my sister, and my mother. You understand what I'm saying? All of them see something different, right? But all of them told the same story. Jesus did not come to sit peace on the earth, but a very I am for peace, but I speak that they are all. He come back in Luke in the eighth chapter, beginning in the nineteenth verse. He said, "Then came to him his mother and brother." I don't want to make proof that he said it, and come not and come not at him. For the prayer, he said, it was told him by a servant would say, thy mother and thy brother stand without desire to see me. And he answered and said unto them, my mother, my brother, are these which hear the word and do it. Now all of them, I don't know what, where they were when they heard, but whatever part they heard, he said, Sass, you're going to be my sister. If you do the word. But if you ain't doing the word. He came not to do that. Preachers today are people. And people are the sensitizers of the word of God. To make people feel good. They downplay, ward them down. He come and said, now look at this. Angel said, three, three. Can two walk together except they agree? How you gonna walk with God when Angel said you can't walk unless you agree? If you didn't agree with the word of God, you can't be walking with God. And what Angel said, he come back in Galatians in 5 and 17, he said, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are compared one to another, so that you cannot do the thing that you do. <coughs> he said the flesh is making that difference. He come back and said Romans 8, 7 and 8. He said, because the common mind is immoral against God, but it is not subject to the law of God. The flesh can't, it ain't subject to the law of God. It said, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot be God. <laughs> you can't do it. You, you can't do it. See, one thing about the truth, you can't come and get comfortable with the truth. You know, he said my father he was a Baptist or in Zion, one of the little church. You, you cannot sit your flesh down and flesh in it. Y'all just scrap down. Y'all just, y'all really, y'all scrap down. Y'all, if y'all get about here, some of y'all got about here, some of y'all got about here, some of y'all got about here. Yeah. Said, this is what he said. I'm coming to a close. Look what he said. He said, but if you live after the flesh, you shall die. 
That's why I said you need to read it for yourself. You don't, you don't need to let me just read it for you. You need to look at the scripture. That's why I said, if anybody is going to preach, I give you enough scripture that you can bag and check and see what I'm saying. He said, he said, look, he said, for if you live after the flesh, you, you, you shall die. But if through the spirit, do modify the deeds of your body. He said, get your body under suggestion. That's our problem. We can't get our body under suggestion. He said, ye shall live for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. As many are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. He said, they are the sons of God. And that's our problem. We don't want to align it with the word said. He comes back and tells us in Romans 8 and 5 and 6. He said, but they that are out of the faith do mind the things of the faith. They that are out of the faith, they that ain't saved, they ain't sanctified, they ain't consecrated, they do mind the things of the faith. That's why you get mad. He said, he said, they mind the things. He said, but they that are out of the spirit, the things of the spirit. That means when you do me wrong, I still got to do me right. When you talk about me, feel the same way, I still got to be right. Because God did not come to bring peace. God did not come to comfort nobody. Boy, you clean, boy. He said, he said, he said, he said, the thing of the He said, but to be carnal man is death. He said, to be flesh man is death. And thinking that you can operate and do what you want to do in your flesh is death. You know how y'all leave church, y'all do other things that you should be doing? He said, death. I'm so loud, y'all. I know you said, I should probably say I should have been so loud. You said what you want to say. Huh? I'm fully committed. Whether you think I was full of good or not, and just having a different twist, looking on things. He said, he said, for to be common man is death, but to be spiritual man is life and peace. You see what life is in the spirit. He said, life and peace. God trying to tell us something. And we don't want to listen. This is what he said, Revelation 1 and 16. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth, with a sharp two heads for said in Revelation he said, out of his mouth came a sharp two heads for Ain't God awesome? He said he's going to kill the enemy with his word. That's what he said. He said he, in his hand, in the right hand, he had seven stars. And out of his mouth with a sharp two heads for And his confidence was that the sun shining in his street. He was weak at all. He come back. I am he that lived and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. He said, I do. The one told you, I ain't come to make y'all be weak. I ain't come to make y'all kiss and cuss with the world. I come to bring a separation. I come, I come to make a difference. He said, I ain't came. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And I said, ready for war. Whatever is going to happen. Y'all look at all the rumors of war, all the stuff going on in the world. All, all over the world. Y'all better stop looking at chapter 3 news. They don't have news. They can't even know what's wrong. Got killed right here. You can get it on, you get on Facebook before you get on channel 3. Y'all better stop looking at the news. And as I close, this is what he said in Jeremiah 29 and 19. He said, Because they have not hearkened to my word, said the Lord, which I sent unto them by the servant, the prophet, rising up early and sending them. He said, But you will not hear, said the Lord. Y'all don't get up early in the morning. Y'all don't be at the church at 12 o'clock, 12 30. God got to get them early in the morning. Will is not your friend. Will ain't your friend. It's a very holiness, unholiness. See, I want you to be holy. He said, light. I don't want you to be in the dark. He said, I want you to be righteous, not unrighteous. He said, I want you to be right, not wrong. He said, I'm different. We've been in the church wrong and think I won't have to be right. He said, 
heaven. I want you to go to heaven, not hell. I want you to be a man. Spirit, not flesh. Love, not hate. Sweet, I want you to be good. See, I want you to have wisdom, God, not just be a small. Some of y'all are so smart and intelligent. But a homely man, dumb man, can go to heaven and be lying with God. And it said, positive, not negative. But though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk against the flesh. Walk after the flesh. For the weapon of our warfare are not come, but it matter to God put it down the stronghold. Cast it down the imagination. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bring it in the captivity of the thought to the obedience of Christ. Jesus came not to sit in peace, but a soul. Read.